bedroom. Living space. <laughs> Greg War and Christopher are looking for their first home together in San Francisco. Walking right into the bedroom. Bam. And it's under budget. Budget, 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 budget. It's about time. They've been married for two years. It's huge in here. Of course it's under budget. It's a lot less square footage. I would need to squat to take a shower. Is tiny living going to work for these guys? That's not a kitchen. That's a yes. galley on an airplane. Well, you're used to working in a galley. Smart buyers everywhere are discovering that smaller homes mean bigger lifestyles. <laughs> if you've got what it takes to live in 500 square feet or less, ingenuity rules and freedom follows. That's tiny living. So should we go over to Joe's and have a cocktail, or you want to go to Twin Pigs? Christopher and Gregoire both grew up in the Northeast. As adults, they found the pull of San Francisco irresistible. I've lived here 16 years. It's the outdoors, the architecture, the cuisine, wine country. Oh my god. That's what sold it for me. I love being able to get in the car and drive 30 minutes, and we're in Napa, Sonoma. Mm, that's delicious. Their relationship started as a bi-coastal thing. We first met, God, probably 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. I was producing some events out here in the San Francisco area and met Christopher through a common friend of ours. And he was adorable. In 2010, Gregoire moved out to San Francisco, and they've been together ever since. Christopher is a flight attendant. Gregoire works in web marketing. In the seven years they've been together, they've done a bunch of traveling and had a lot of laughs. On June 28, 2013, the very day it became legal in California, they ran down to City Hall and finally tied the knot. Can you go ahead and put some of the cream in there? Partly because they travel so much, Christopher and Gregoire haven't made a priority of getting their own home. I'm going to miss this kitchen. They've been staying with their very generous friends, Bob and Greg, who live in a big, beautiful home in Twin Peaks in the hills overlooking San Francisco. Gregoire and Christopher have been socking away a down payment and are ready to make their move. Tiny is smart for us just because we're always going out. We're doing things with friends. We're traveling. We really want to stay in the city. And how we're going to afford this is to go really small. Uh -huh. Christopher's told Gregoire exactly what he's after. I told him right away, I want a decent-sized kitchen and a decent-sized bathroom. It's going to be hard for me because I'm such a big cook. Gregoire's concerned about layout and having personal space. When I do have the opportunity when I work from home, is it going to be a quiet space to be able to get my job done? Allison Fortini Crawford is the realtor they've picked to guide their search. Our market is really driven by the tech industry. Our prices are pretty high considering that, but it commands that price because it is such a wonderful city. The guys are targeting 500 square feet, and their budget sweet spot is $525,000. Allison's first pick is right downtown in an area called Hayes Valley. It's a trendy neighborhood where you can walk to almost everything. So this property is the eclectic. It's 550 square feet, and it's listed for 565,000. Ooh, that's a little higher than I thought. Yeah, but it's a oh. great neighborhood, beautiful building. I think you guys are going to really like it. This property is located on the third floor. Ooh, look at this pink lighting and these dark rugs. Oh, it's kind of cute. Let's go inside. This home gets great natural light, as you wow. can see. It is really bright in here. I love the little thing that goes around here that you can hang pictures on. Yeah, picture railing. That's very common, especially in the older buildings. And for earthquakes, a little bit more security to have that feature. Does the furniture come with the unit? Yes, it is furnished. I love these chairs. You look good in them. And it is really nice, because you can just kind of sit here with all the light coming in. It's mm -hmm. kind of inviting. I love the living area. The furniture, the couch, and the two chairs were really nice. We don't have a lot of furniture and stuff, so it's great to come into a place that's already got furniture we like. Well, let's take a look at the bedroom area. 
This is interesting. Oh, wow. I thought it was a studio. It's kind of like a junior one bedroom. This was the walk-in closet, and they blew through the wall to open it up. I am concerned about light, so I do want to try and just bring the shades down and see sure, what it would give look it a try. like. Definitely not a morning person. No, not at all. <laughs> and there goes my morning sun. <laughs> Well, that does make it a little bit uh, darker. Definitely need the storage with all your shoes. And I'm going to kind of take a look. And... Yeah, please. Wow. It's actually a fair amount of storage. Quite nice. Yeah, there's even a little bit of more storage over there, too. We definitely need it. They really benefited from the height of the ceilings in putting some of the storage units above the bed. We won't have to downsize so much, because there is a lot of storage. So it does have great closet space. Here's a oh, good yeah. shoe closet, oh, wow. and then also a clothes closet right here. Excellent. See, honey, a little bit more money gets you a little more space. And then it's got a beautifully remodeled bathroom. Oh, wow. I love that it's totally updated. And the fixtures are really nice. Look at this mirror. This is interesting. Oh, and it's also a uh, cabinet in the back. One thing I did notice, this is a little short of a shower head. So even I would need to squat to take a shower. I couldn't believe that it was brand new. There were little things like the shower head, but overall, brand new bathroom. Loved it. So the nice thing about this kitchen is that there's a large eating kitchen area. Oh, wow. wow. This is really nice. I mean, for a little bit over budget, we're getting a lot. This is really nice. I love the flooring. The flooring is really nice. Holy cow, can we talk about the kitchen? Yeah. Holy cow, can we talk about the kitchen? This is really updated nicely. The countertops are concrete, and they have a finish on them that makes them really shine. Gregoire and Christopher are touring their first tiny home in San Francisco. And for Christopher, a lot hinges on the kitchen. I'm in love. There's a lot of space to move in here, and there's a lot of storage, shockingly, for such a small space. And did you see this? It's kind of like a little pantry. I'm not too sure about the fridge. This is a little tiny. We could get a fridge and put it over here, but then oh. that's more money on the budget. Well, for right now, I can live with that. Although, this is not a gas stove, and I like cooking with gas. You know, they're all brand new appliances. Uh, I, again, I can work with this. Look at this view. Oh, I know what that space is going to be used for. Glass of wine. Absolutely. OK, well, now that we've seen the entire property and you've gotten a good feel for the building and the neighborhood, what are your thoughts? It hit everything, what I wanted in the bathroom and the kitchen. No gas, I can deal without that. It is a, at our top budget, and there's a lot of little things that need to be done in there, which is just going to bring that budget up even higher. I'm just not too sure of the space yet. I do have another home to show you that's definitely more in your price range. Awesome. All Sounds right. good. You know, though, I've got to go back to that kitchen. I really liked it, babe. The only thing there wasn't was gas, but I'm willing to live with that. There was a big space. That place is just so expensive. The next stop in Allison's tour is only a half a mile away in an area called South of Market. So here we are at the Soma. Oh, 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 oh. Always find your way back home. This home is 375 square feet. Ooh, yes. That's a little small. It is, but it's also coming in at 475,000 as a price. That leaves us some room in the budget to increase on other things. We'll have to take a look. So the unit is right here on the first floor. Oh, that's really nice. Lighting's a little weird, though. Hey, weird color again. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, this is really nice. So when we first come in, you oh, have wow. the kitchen. That's not a kitchen. That's a galley on an airplane. Well, you're used to working in a galley. But you have your gas stove, and you have a large size refrigerator. Oh my god, they got a dishwasher. I'm surprised. There's a lot of storage in this small space. They've really made it work. Look at what they did back here. So there's more counter space to prepare food on. Honey, that's not a counter. That's a dresser on its side. Well, we can make it work. I'm not sold on the kitchen. The kitchen, although it did have modern appliances, they were kind of small. With the money that we're saving by coming in under budget, I really think that we can put some of that into the kitchen. So before we make any decisions, let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. Awesome. 
Oh, wow. I love these new buildings. Look at this brand new. It's huge in here. This is bigger than the kitchen. Yeah, and notice the oversized shower head, and it sits high up on the wall. Look at the storage that we have over here. Mm -hmm. And the thing I like about this is look at the color in here. It is very soothing. It's very nice. I really thought that the bathroom was amazing. It was huge in comparison to the size of the unit. All right, so now we can really check out the common living space. Here we have the sleeping area. Wow, it is very close to the kitchen. You know, if you're going to wake up in the morning, you're going to be right there when I am sleeping. But the bed is really nice and comfortable. I really do like that. Oh, is it comfy? Yeah, it's super nice. <sighs> Christopher does like to get up earlier, and I'm a light sleeper, so we need to be creative with the sleeping uh, arrangements in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the space over here. God, there's no lighting in here. If you want, you can actually sit at the table, have your cup of coffee, and you have your light coming in right here. So actually, right behind you, Christopher, is a gas fireplace. Oh, wow. No way. That's Great super for cool. heat as well as ambiance. I think I got it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is awesome. Pretty, isn't it? That is super yeah, cool. I've never nice. seen this feature, especially a tiny place like this. This is super cool, too. More storage and look at that. I have my dinner, I can watch some TV, and it's another perfect space. Great, you've impressed him. <laughs> <laughs> what I really like about this unit is it's moving ready, the walls are painted, the furniture is amazing, and it's under budget. There's not much work that needs to go into this place at all. Of course it's under budget because <laughs> it's a lot less square footage. I'm still liking the other unit. It had more natural lighting and stuff, and the kitchen was amazing. But with natural lighting, I'm seeing some outdoor space. Well, let's go ahead and take a look outside, because that's a key feature of this home, is the amazing outside space. Oh, wow. There's an amazing outside space with this home. Oh, wow. Yeah, so here is an amazing, is amazing outdoor patio that really is flows well from inside. So you have an indoor outdoor livability out here. Gregoire and Christopher have been married for two years and are finally ready to buy their first home together. And this tiny 375 square foot place in San Francisco's Soma neighborhood just got a little sexier. How many people actually have outdoor space in San Francisco? This is a huge bonus. It is pretty big, it's nice. And is this real or fake? No, it's a synthetic grass. So it's a really green alternative to real grass. So Gregoire, we've seen the entire unit now. What are your thoughts? I'm really excited that it's move-in ready. And it's within our budget, especially with this outdoor space. This is a real gem and rare in San Francisco. You know, we kind of stepped out here, and I, I, I do get my natural lighting. My concerns are, is how I'm going to feel inside. He's going to try to sleep all day, you know, and I'm going to be stuck out here because he wants to sleep. Overall, I think it's a great place, but I'm still not really sold on it. Of course you liked it. It was cheaper, and there's a lot less square footage. Yeah, but come on. It was 375 square feet inside. It was 200 square feet of outside space. Yeah, babe, it's that kitchen. There were new appliances, and I got my gas. It's just going to be a little tight for me. I think I have to look at another place. Allison's all over it. She's picked out a spot in Haight-Ashbury that seems like a perfect compromise. Cool neighborhood, bigger space. So here we are at the abode. So it's 525 square feet. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, nice and yeah. big. It's also listed for 550,000. Ooh, that's a little high on the budget a side. A little more square footage, though, babe. Yeah, more space. Yeah. We'll have to see. So let's check it out. The unit is located on the top floor in the building which is nice because you don't need a gym membership. Oh, <laughs> and sure. You also won't hear footfall from any unit above you. Good Lord, it's exhausting. Gregor, you said you wanted us to lose a few pounds. I know. <laughs> so come on in. So when you first come into the unit, you are in the sleeping area. Yes, you are. Walking right into the bedroom. Bam. There's no natural light above you. So for you, sleeping, mm -hmm. wanting it a little darker, 
This really kind of fits that bill. Yeah, it's a little bit darker over here, so that is a nice little feature. Good. And also notice that there's a gas fireplace. So you just flip the switch on and you have instant ambiance. In the wintertime in San Francisco, it can get a little chilly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So to have that is just really cozy. Great bonus points with the fireplace. The only downside to it is, you know, it, it is an extra added expense. Budget, 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 budget. Well, let's go ahead into the main living space. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Bedroom, living <laughs> space. <laughs> they created a little separation of the space. I kind of like it. I am noticing that light is going to be coming in the morning right into the bedroom. So I'm going to have to put something of curtains to block off that light. Honey, look at that view, though. And you don't get a view like that in this price range in the city. With the skylight being right here, mm -hmm. if I have this blocked off with a curtain, this is a really nice feature. One thing I want to point out to both of you is the wainscoting in this unit. These nice little touches in these it's older charming. buildings is very charming. And I do like the place is painted. You know, there's not much that needs to be done here. The natural light in the abode, pow, it was right there. The view was gorgeous. And having the paint on the wall really makes it move in ready. And it does take that added stress off of not having to do that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen now. I do like this kitchen, you know, it's, it is kind of roomy and with it, the flow of the living room into here. Counter is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And look at these new appliances. Yeah, and the refrigerator is full size. But look at the gas stove. Oh, there's my gas stove. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That and is these are high end appliances. Nice. Yeah, they are nice. There is Plenty a lot of storage. storage space. This is really nice. The one thing I am noticing, again, I am short. You know, the angle of the ceiling, this is kind of weird. So, you know, if I want to lean in and mm -hmm. sip on some wine while he's cooking. I know it is work. a little awkward, but that's because of the stairs going up. Oh, that okay. that's there, so that isn't something that can change. It kind of had that wow factor, updated appliances, that gas stove I wanted. But it was kind of awkward with the way the ceiling came down. It's kind of a wasted space. So let's go ahead and take a look at the closet. This is going to blow you guys away. Oh my god, this is a huge walk-in closet. Gregoire and Christopher are in the middle of touring a tiny space in San Francisco's legendary Haight-Ashbury. You can actually fit an entire bed in here. There would be no disruption with my sleeping if we put the bed in there. And yes. then you would have all the natural light that you wanted. It could ultimately turn the space into a one bedroom and not really a studio. I think Gregoire would be a little cat in a den in there. All right, last thing we need to see is the bathroom. Look at all the space that you have in here. Oh my god, look, his and his vanity. I really love this tile. I mean, they spent a lot of money in here. They yeah. did. It's actually very well done. This is move in ready. I'm really liking this. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to discuss. Every property had something amazing to it. It's going to be a tough decision. Christopher and Gregoire settle into a watering hole on Market Street to get down to business. We have a huge decision to make. We really need to take one out of the mix right now. I bet you we could eliminate a boat. Space 3 is a fourth floor walk-up. It's priced at $550,000 and is a flexible 525 square feet. It's got a bonus space that could be a tiny bedroom, but the kitchen ceiling is a headbanger. I'm looking at the Soma. Space 2 is the smallest at 375 square feet and has the lowest asking price at $475,000. It's basically one long open living space, but it has a rare private patio. Can I tell you the eclectic? It was amazing. Space One is the biggest at 550 square feet and is the priciest at $565,000. It has a sleeping alcove for Night Owl Gregoire and a full-size kitchen for Chef Christopher. I get that you like the eclectic, and I can agree with you to a degree. The kitchen at the Soma was smaller, but it does work, and it had the gas stove. Honey, that was a galley. That wasn't a kitchen. You work in the airline industry. You're used to working in a galley kitchen. The money that we save with the Soma, we can put into the kitchen and other places. I really like the division in space at the Eclectic. We don't have that in the Soma. It's an open concept, baby. But the Soma did have the outdoor space. Where do you find a private oasis outside 
in the middle of downtown San Francisco. You got me thinking now. I really understand the kitchen was really nice. The separation of the space was really nice. But is it really worth spending $100,000 more? You know what, babe? I'll be happy if you're happy, yes. It's the Soma. Within eight weeks, they're all moved into the Soma, and they've taken in two new roommates. I am absolutely thrilled with our tiny house. I can't believe Gregoire convinced me, but it was so quickly it felt like home. I have my little sitting area where I'm allowed to work and not be disturbed, so it's really nice. I kind of get in my own zone. Oh, that is so good. You know, believe it or not, we love the kitchen. We've really made it work. I guess it's my experience working in small places as a chef. Why don't you grab the wine and I'll grab this? Okie dokie. Can you grab the bottle? Of course. Our back patio is amazing. It's just kind of relaxing with a glass of wine. The kitties will come out and join us. We're in the middle of the city. And listen to how quiet it is back With this less space, we both spend less time cleaning, and we spend more time out enjoying this amazing city. I try to keep it quiet, but I do still get yelled at. Hi, mister. He makes noises in the morning, but I've gotten some good morning cups of coffee and breakfast in bed, so I'm super happy. We got what we wanted. We did. I love you, babe.